So here I am at another filling station putting in fast charge. This charger was slow, but relatively simple. I mean, the interface is slow on the screen when you're pressing things, but really simple because there's one cable, there's no choices. That's it. You plug the cable in, you get a charge, end of story. If we go down the route of having this universal amount of cables, this five, six, seven different cables, we're gonna end up like the new MacBook Pro, which is what's exactly what's happened to that, is they had to buy this other bloody adapter to just use the laptop. It makes no sense iPhone 7, the same. You want to use headphones, you ting in another adapter and plugs and stupid stuff. I'm not saying we all have to go on this and leaf adapter. Two adapters is fine. Like Petron days, you get a narrow one, you get a wider one. I'm okay with that. But when it gets to three or four or, or a user interface requires the user to make the choices to what is going to happen next, and that's just a mess. Join the dots. We need the makers of these devices to actually decide that they're gonna do something good together as a group. Move it forward so it's easier to use. This has to be rolled out in every country, not just Ireland. This has to be rolled out in every single country, right across Europe, right across the world. This has to be easy to use. If it's not easy to use, then hear these engines, these ICE engines going out the whole time. That's just gonna continue because people won't understand what this is about. So either you guys who are all EV people out there lighten up a bit and start to educate the people around instead of berate the people around you. And you people out there who think you're just above all this, guess what? You're not. It's coming crushingly to an end. Without a shadow of a doubt, this kind of technology or something very like this is going to take these diesel and petrol cars off the road. They cannot sustain the environment they cannot sustain the air quality, particularly in cities, but it's in small towns. Your town, your town in Ireland today is fuming with this stuff. I can't continue. This has got to happen. But for this to happen, the people who put this stuff in just can't put it in as an afterthought. They can't just go, oh, well, that'll do. It'll do. It'll be fine. Should we just make our own cable and stick one in there? Just bodge it together with some solder iron. You can't do that. This has to be done properly and simple. It has to be simple. People are lazy. They want to pull up, pssst, boom, boom. They don't want to pull up and decide what cable, what thing to press, how do I do this? Do I need to change the language? Do I need to, what? Plug it in, the machine detects what's been plugged in, they communicate together just like a USB cable. Plug a USB cable into a laptop, it doesn't matter what the USB cable is connected to, it will tell the laptop what it is. And the laptop will tell it what it is. Plug an iPhone into a PC, see what happens. Two competing devices, they still communicate together. This should be able to tell this what kind of charger it is, and this should be able to tell this what kind of car it is, and the correct power is delivered. I shouldn't have to interfere at all. I shouldn't have to press any buttons. I'm going to do something that I don't think any other journalist has done in the country. What I'm going to do is get an electric car and live with it for a longer period of time than just a few days or even a week. I'm gonna live with it maybe for a month, maybe for a couple of months, and just see what it's like to be an EV person. And through that, I will do some long drives, short drives, overnight charges, all that sort of stuff that you get into the life of an EV car. But until the next time we see each other, take care of yourself, and I will see you on the far side.